<laughs> you know? We had some comments on the show to say that we should do different, different challenges. And food was one of them. I didn't expect our first one to be power bars. <laughs> Hi everyone, Soraya Monday here and Sam, welcome to the show. This is your weekly dose of Monday Live Leo. <laughs> it's Monday Live Leo for you. And um, today we are going to actually try some protein bars. Now the last uh, I posted on my Instagram TV, uh, I received my latest shipment of my protein supplements. Uh, I've been ordering from them uh, for a good maybe two years and I really love their products but why I have sent with me today is to give a really honest critique on protein bars because I don't like protein mm -hmm. I'm used to it so you know back in the days where when uh, protein bars were very limited and tasted really grainy and tasted like really, cardboard yeah like cardboard and then suddenly quest bars so if you're familiar with protein bars you remember that when quest bars came into the market they were like the best thing after sliced bread you know like everyone loved them although they were a bit chewy but <laughs> they came with really nice flavors and they were really easy to eat and uh, I've since, and I think uh, since then, a lot of other companies have kind of reformulated their products and they're a lot better to consume now. Um, although disclaimer, this should not replace your meals. Uh, this is just a supplement. Uh, if you're working out, I work out quite a bit and sometimes I find it's hard for me to consume enough protein. So all the things i'm going to show you today is just a supplement it should not be replacing your main source of protein or your main source of carbs uh, that should still come from whole foods mm. but i have mason with me to give a very honest brutal i will be brutal as you can see from attire itself she's more athletic than i am <laughs> homage to kobe Bryant, black mamba rest in peace um, but so much to my dad, army officer, well yes. done. Gonna lie! <laughs> so, uh, but actually, Sen, you were also in uh, the triathlete community yes. for quite some time. What did you for use? six years. Six years. So she cycles, actually, she, more terror than me. She, when we used to work together, um, the first, I think the first few months uh, I knew Sen, she signed up for tri uh, Ironman. Ironman. Ironman Langkawi. Yes. And let me share with you uh, a very valuable life lesson I learned from Sen. I don't know if she knows this. I do. Uh, but I also want to know. Yeah. So um, we were after a week of Sen hiring me. She put me on a bus. I did. Yes. <laughs> she put me on a bus. <laughs> for a road show all around Malaysia, okay? For three weeks, it was going, you know, I was on a bus for three weeks all over Malaysia and Sen had joined us, I think, during the last two stops. Yes. Um, and it was concurrent or it kind of coincided with Ironman Langkawi. Yes. So That's I'm right. in Langkawi and I think one of our stops, which is in Alo Star, mm -hmm. uh, kind of coincided. Now, Sen was super busy during that time, um, flooded with a lot of work. She didn't train at all, zero, zero training. For Ironman Langkawi, we're talking about <laughs> like, you know, the most prestigious Ironman uh, event ever, right? Uh, we had another colleague who trained mm. and also uh, was uh, participating in Ironman Langkawi. So we had Sen who didn't train and this other gentleman who trained very religiously and I remembered she went to Ironman Langkawi and she finished ah. this girl this little pint-sized woman finished so when I asked her after that I said Sen oh boss that time boss how did you do it you didn't even train one single day and her answer to me was I was purely stubborn. That's right. <laughs> Until now, now I, I remember. remember. Yes, yes, I was purely stubborn. She, oh, that yeah. was all she said. She said, <laughs> my only drive was my stubbornness. I yeah. refused 
to give up. I was so Correct. stubborn. I didn't want to give up. Didn't want to give up. So that in itself was a life lesson. And every time <laughs> when I feel like I want to give up, Don't I always up. remember Sam didn't even train for a freaking Iron Man. <laughs> so if she can hack it, I'm sure at least I can give it a shot. Lah, okay? But I gave up on the power bars that they had. What did you use to power take bars? Like power bars and like gels? Yes. Okay, were they any good? They were... Okay, it's a mixture of sawdust. So cardboard, uh, slightly moist, depending. I mean, mm. I have to cut them. I can't finish the whole bar at one time. Huh. So what I do is I'll cut them up. Mm. So I'll pre-plan. So um, the thing about Iron Man is it's all about your preparation. Mm. So I figured, okay, 180 kilometers on the bike, how many hours I'm going to take, half a bar every how many hours. Mm. So I cut them up. So the first few would be okay. Then after that, it would be quite tough. Mm. I think the toughest thing about the race was eating those bars. Really? Yeah, Yeah, because you're dehydrated, you're tired, mm. and then it gets dried up because it's been cut. Oh, and then you're yeah. chewing, and then you're trying to cycle at the same time, and then it's hot, and then it won't go down, and then you're like, what the heck? She's yeah. also famous for actually eating a double cheeseburger on the way. Yes. Put it here. Yeah. See, so keep it moist. Double. <laughs> Cheeseburger will go down, but apparently power bars those yeah. days no, won't go down. Yeah, not right up there on no. the food chain, lah. Not in the food chain at all. Okay. okay, so we are going to definitely give this a shot. Okay. You know, let's see whether your adversity towards power bars has changed or not. Oh, the you know this will make you change <laughs> your mind. Okay. okay, so I've got a few items here. I'm just gonna show you closely. This is the protein. Filled protein cookie by My Protein. This one is double chocolate and caramel. This is My Protein six, oh, six impending doom <laughs> six layer bar. Good. And uh, sorry, that was the golden bar. They've got a few. This is six layers. Uh, I think chocolate chocolate sundae. Six layers. Six layers. I six. couldn't even do one layer. You want me to do six layers? <laughs> We're gonna torture you today. <laughs> This is the six layer cookie and cream. Do I get a medal after this? <laughs> we will give you a medal for actually attempting it. Okay, this is the carb, crush, carb crusher fudge brownie. I've actually tasted most of it and to me, it is pretty decent. I quite like it. It doesn't really taste as grainy as what it used to be. Uh, this, this is the peanut butter carb crusher. So again, all these items range as far as the uh, grammage and protein it ranges from about 17 grams to 20 grams per packet uh, so we're gonna open them uh, okay again another disclaimer if you've got sensitive stomach towards artificial sweetness uh, I would suggest you try and buy a sample pack first and don't buy like the whole box because um, you know different people have different sensitivities it says treat without the cheat yeah, because you're not cheating, apparently. It's only... <laughs> I'm so <Okay>. worried. <laughs> this is... A... <laughs> wait, 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 we're not talking like, you know, do domestic issues here. No, no. no. <laughs> but 20... Don't worry, sayang. I don't cheat on you. Okay. <laughs> so, like, this one has got 23 grams of protein and only 1.8 grams of sugar. But again, I'm not saying that... Um, the sugar substitute is a better form of sugar. It's just, mm. it depends on what your goals are. Uh, so if you want to keep your sugar low, the sugar substitutes offer a zero or almost zero calorie substitute. Mm. But again, be very careful your stomach, you know. Um, I'm my, my system doesn't quite take artificial sugars very well and that's why I was surprised when I started taking my protein products. Uh, it didn't give me an upset stomach mm. uh, and that's why I've been kind of um, buying, purchasing over and over from them. Tip, if you're going to order my protein, uh, they're based out of the UK. They have a Malaysian website, but shipment still comes from UK and that means when it goes through customs, be prepared that uh, your barang might get stuck. Uh, like stuck on the truth, you know? Stuck. <laughs> like stuck, stuck at customs. So the tip is, don't order big box. Yeah, or order smaller, small, small, small quantities. Okay? okay. Alright, let's get to it because I think we've rambled quite a bit. So I'm going to open, okay. 
Well, give Sam the honest. Thank yes. you. I'm going with the don't cheat on me. Oh, wait, wait, don't are cheat they the same? Uh, one is peanut butter, one is fudge brownie. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we go for the fudge brownie. Oh, okay. So, uh, in the meantime, tell us <laughs> what what would you what would your expectations Mama. be? Well, okay. The last time I had a Bar, protein bar like this would be 2010. 2010, that has been about that, 10 years. Yes, so it's been a decade. Technology has progressed. And I still can remember the thing not going down mm. and I'm like... No, things don't uh, go down, babe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> children, close your ears. <laughs> okay, Sam, please help yourself to the first one. You see how hard she's having to... Okay, I, I, you know... Like I took it out from the fridge, yeah. And like, anyway, this is a plastic knife. Okay, are we cheersing? We cheers. Cheers. Okay, sorry. I'll take out my gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. Okay. Again, mm. this was the fudge brownie. Mm hmm. If you can see, a little closer. If you can see the texture, there's a bit of a caramel layer on top and some crispies. Mm. And then underneath is the protein compound. Okay, so it's got that, it still has that traditional protein bar taste, which is, it smears on, on the pellet, you know. Then it becomes rough and, yeah. She's a but taste-wise, it's okay. It, so she's a bit of a connoisseur when it comes to this, <laughs> really. Um, it's like it's that, that, I'm not sure if you, you're familiar with protein bars, but the first chewy part is okay. They're all great. Any flavor is great because that's the big punch, right? And I reckon it's like pet food. Like, you know, you get so, <laughs> you get so enticed by the smell, by the flavor. And it's like, whoa! And then once you get really into it, mm. it has this base of that sawdust thing. So this one still has that. Okay. So, personally, um, if I were to kind of equate it to a normal candy bar. I'm going to drink water. <laughs> she came prepared. <laughs> um, I did. It would be like a... Hmm. Okay. Imagine a Twix bar, not so sweet, but instead of that biscuit underneath, you've got like protein powder compound. That's I think how. it's a protein powder compound that gets me. Yeah. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is the golden bar six layer. Now, honestly, when you open it, it looks very enticing. Because, ta-da, it's, it's got sparkles. Okay, can you see? I love how you do that. It's got sparkles. Focus. Actually, you don't need to because it's pretty good focus. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but we do the YouTuber thing. <laughs> My... <laughs> My... <laughs> okay, so we are going to cut through this. Okay. Uh, so what is this one called? This is called the six layer golden bar. Okay, so it's six layers. Six layers. Smells great. I, this is a new flavor actually. This was a limited edition, hence the gold confetti. But okay, I nice to chew. I hear something popping mm. in your mouth. Is it your teeth? Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. Such sparkly thing. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit smoother than the first one. Mm. Um, these mm. were the older flavors, and honestly, this was my from my previous uh, purchase. Not in the unboxing that I did recent, recently. But I had like these in stock still, so I thought I'll just bring it along. Okay, this one's a lot smoother. Mm. Like it doesn't have that grainy taste at the end of it. Mm. Mm. But I suspect because it's such a huge chunk, mm. you might not be able to eat all of it at one go. Can you actually eat the whole thing at one go? Or are you supposed to eat the whole thing at one go? I have a sweet tooth, so I can. Uh, um, but, okay, if you were to... Uh, equate this to something you've had. Does it um, taste like a like a like a cream filled biscuit or no? Um, 
Okay, so far the, pro the two protein bars, they still have that protein bar taste, which is, it does not help your, it dries up the mouth. I don't know why it does that, mm -hmm. but uh, usually if you're eating something really yummy, like a biscuit or something, you get the whole full flavor in your mouth. But somehow this one, you get the first punch, but you don't get the punch after that because the flavor just disappears. Mm -hmm. But at least it's a lot smoother to chew. Um, it's a lot easier to swallow. Uh, it's also quite easy to distinguish the different six layers. Like, ah. like it's not mashed up, you know? Like the first one was all, I'm not sure what I'm biting, but... Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so pretty good, pretty okay. good. Why don't we try a rating? Oh, um, okay, give system. me a rating. Yeah, um, how was your rating on the first one? Uh, shall we say based on 10? Mm -hmm. Based on 10. Okay, so the first one will probably be a 4. The second one is uh, maybe a 6. Huh, yeah. Okay, so for the first one, which was the um, cup crusher, yep. fudge brownie, 4. Sen gives it a four. I okay. Uh, again, they have actually recently changed the uh, formulation for this. I actually prefer the previous formulation. Mm. Um, there was a sea salt chocolate flavor which was out of stock this time, and I think they're discon discontinuing that. I might be wrong, but I didn't see it on the website. Mm. Uh, I love the sea salt chocolate so much. I think I would have given it a nine, but this I probably give a seven. Um, because there wasn't quite a distinct flavor. It's like I, I taste fudge ish, but yeah, mm. nothing, nothing, you know, nothing mm. spectacular. Um, this golden bar, uh, the six layers, mm -hmm. how much would you give? I'll six. give it a six. Okay. Yeah. So I would give it a Pretty six. Uh, I would give it maybe a seven or an eight. Um, only because I tasted the cookies and cream and the chocolate sundae and I think they were a bit tastier. Oh, um, the, so I think the tastier for last. Yes, but uh, until we get there, we shall try the protein cookie. Oh, now, um, also be careful when you're choosing all these items um, because a lot of people tend to think that, oh, it's a protein supplement product. Uh, it shouldn't be that damaging to my calorie intake. But it is so damaging. Yeah. Um, it is worse than eating the actual thing, mm, to be honest. Mm. Um, this, for example, this protein cookie is with the... Uh, okay, one cookie is 269 calories. One cookie. Okay. Okay. So it's a big cookie. Um, the only thing is that chocolate chips. It's hard. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Ta-da! It's, like <laughs> it's like a it's like a hockey puck. Well, it looks like a hockey <laughs> it does. puck, but it is actually quite soft. So, uh, okay. coming back to calorie intake, uh, guys, at the end of the day, just be careful. Um, some of the items are a bit calorie dense, so it doesn't mean that it's protein filled or low fat that the calories are low. Just, you know, read no, the labels. They do load up, yeah. honestly. And if your body can't burn it, mm. that's it. You pile it on. Mm. So you, you need to really listen to your body. Like, when I first started triathlons, I thought, okay, I need to eat this whole entire bar in order to get that. But um, what I realized is I'm comparing myself to somebody that can burn it more efficiently than I can. Right. So, in fact, I think my first two years of triathlons, I put on quite a fair bit. Mm -hmm. And my mom's like, you're working out, but why do you look like that? <laughs> Pain lah, okay, my mom. It's okay, mummies <laughs> all mean very well. Right, so after that, I'm like, yeah, why is that? Then I realized it's because of the protein bars that I'm taking, mm -hmm. that I'm not burning efficiently. Mm -hmm. So you need to listen to your body and just monitor how it actually reacts in your stomach. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. 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 Okay. So, hmm. It's like a cookie. Hmm. 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 In all fairness, hmm. their cookie range is actually my least favorite, but hmm. clearly it's Sen's favorite. Hmm.
You like? I do. Mm. So it's um. It actually, tastes like it's got alcohol in it. <laughs> like a slightly mm. rummy taste. Like sourish. Yeah, like liquor. Maybe right. that's why I like it. So, um, uh, disclaimer: this is also no, <laughs> no alcohol in here. <laughs> but something's fermented, though. <laughs> Maybe in transition across <laughs> the <laughs> across the Pacific, right? But okay. So this um. Uh, don't expect a crunchy cookie. No, it's, it's a not soft a crunchy cookie. cookie. It's a soft cookie. Mm. Uh, and I think uh, most of us in Malaysia are uh, more used to having crunchy cookies. Yeah. So like, you know, we're used to eating famous almonds and all the crunchy cookies, right? But um, in other parts of the world, baked cookies, soft cookies mm. uh, are I also... I actually like soft cookies. Yeah, Maybe also equally famous. Um, this has got more of like a... Slightly caramel, sourish taste. You're right. The aftertaste is a bit sourish. Uh, it's supposed to be double filled, mm. double chocolate and caramel, double chocolate and caramel. Um, I, I, even historically, I've never been a big fan of their cookies. Uh, but this is another lovely thing about my protein. Um, they always give freebies, so when there is a sale. Uh, that's when you want to stock up and they usually have sales for up to 40% off mm. and the minute so they're quite smart lah, you know they want to poke you right the minute you have spent like let's say 200 ringgit then they'll say oh you know spend another 50 ringgit and we will give you a box of this item so this came as a freebie for me a whole box of this so I didn't have to spend but the aftertaste is a bit weird now that you're yeah. feeling it it tastes a bit plasticky. I don't know, like coated. Do you feel it? I'm kind of immune to it already. Really? Mm. It, 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 yeah, there's like a layer of... I don't know whether it's oil or butter. No, I don't think you put butter. Or something. But it, it coats it. Okay. Mm. It's got quite a... weird aftertaste. Just to read the ingredients, milk protein, low sugar caramel, sweetener. The sweetener used is maltitol, coconut oil, vegetable glycerin, emulsifier, olive oil, salt caramel, mm, chocolate chips, mm, like a lot cocoa oil. powder, emulsifier. Yeah. So, um, the after is not that awesome. Ah, the after is not so awesome. Yeah, um, the in between was great, maybe, but maybe because I like soft cookies. I don't know. Rating? <laughs> Tough one. <laughs> maybe a, a six or a five. Or about the golden one. About the golden yeah. one, really? Yeah, about that. Okay. Um, good effort. Good effort. I'll be impartial towards that because um, is this the same as that blue one? Uh, or same peanut butter? Range, but peanut butter. She excited yeah. when she sees peanut butter. Um, so the the cookies for me is kind of like I'll eat it if there's nothing else available. Um, but it's so all these uh, items are good for convenience, lah. Again, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's just. So like I can't imagine a cookie that large to be something convenient for somebody that's on the go. So let's say for example, if you're from the gym, that's not really on the go because you you're in an area so you can just put down your bag and, you know, and you can start eating. Mm -hmm. But if you're on the run or on the go in on your bike and whatnot, it, it does feel a little bit flimsy. So I do prefer bars that are like Absolutely. that that you can hold. Yeah. yeah, that with my butter fingers, that would be like oh. Yeah. And it, it it's quite because it's soft and crumbly. Yeah. yeah. Just going to hunch yeah. all yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So this is the peanut butter. That looks bar. quite good actually. Yeah. So it's quite it, it's it's a decent size. Yes. Um and it's got you can see it's got like little caramel or peanut mm. butter oozing out of it. We'll give you that little corner, yeah. huh? She's already eyeing it. She's I like, am. She's like <laughs> I want that side, yeah. that side, please. Okay. So um it, and I think it's got like crispy stuff on it. Okay, okay. Sorry. Kinda looks the same like the first one. Hard. Wow, very tough. Hmm. I 
点很。You know, we had some comments on the show mm -hmm. to say that we should do different, different challenges. Mm -hmm. And food was one of them. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect our first one to be power bars and <laughs> protein bars. You know, so I mean, I'll do this. So she was quite reluctant because she was like, uh, no, no, no. What about like that one? It's the grainy aftertaste. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So the, the ones in the blue, I've actually had this uh, at home. Uh, so I've tasted this. I'm not going to taste it again because uh, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, proteins to be consumed. But this and this. So the blue yeah, packets. I don't know. Is it the range? Okay. So the blue packets are the carb crushers, which supposedly uh, has got less carbs. Uh, so I don't know. It's like they have oat grains or something. A lot of grains in it that uh, just disintegrates on your tongue. Okay. Uh, soy protein isolate. Um, whey. Ah, maybe whey protein whey. isolate. Yeah. So um, maize yeah. starch. Um, so maybe maybe not so smooth. Not so luxurious. Yeah. Like like the others had oil in it. So that that. That helped a little bit. Yeah. So the others are a lot more luxurious because I think. Um, I like that word luxurious. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna torture her for one more. And then maybe Why? Just you want more. you want to try yeah, go all go all for it stubbornness right? She <laughs> do it once and do it right. That's, that's why I have her as my sidekick because on days when I really like no, I don't think I can. She's like no, babe, you can. Yeah, yeah, do, do it, it, do it. Yeah. You know? So okay, this, not give in. This is your six layer bar in okay, I'll drink water. <laughs> she needs to cleanse the palate. Yes, yes, yes. Cleanse the palate. Where's the sorbet? Yeah. <laughs> so atas. <laughs> okay. Alright, we are down. Oh, home. good lord! Okay, this one, but actually. <laughs> she's. Okay. Wow! See? Hey, it looks damn cool, okay? See, it looks damn yummy. Ta da! <laughs> it, it looks too noir. It does! Yeah. That's why I'm like, good lord! <laughs> yeah, okay, so we are going to. Okay, this one a lot of potency. A lot, a lot of potential, okay? And. Apart from, I think you're growing a lot of muscles just cutting it up for me. Got got a bit a bit okay now. See, I always give the the bottom the, the backside end because yeah. then she gets all the at least it's coated more. Wow, she put the whole thing in. Mm. She had high hopes for that one. I do. What say you? That's so weird, huh? <laughs> this one has got like Oreo cookies uh, mm. encasing it. Mm. The inside, let me just show you how it looks like. So you can see like chocolate chips or rice krispies kind of speckled mm. all over it. Um, I can I quite like this. Uh, I've ordered this a couple of times. I uh, don't mind it whatsoever. She thinks it's quite yummy. Hmm. It's not too bad. I thought it would smear, but mm. it, okay. it didn't smear. So one thing about um, protein bars that I noticed is that um, especially when you think it's going to kind of just melt all over your mouth, mm. it never does. It never does. Mm. Some people or some fitness enthusiasts what they do is they put it in the microwave ah. heat it for like five seconds mm -hmm. then it becomes all, all gooey mm. but can't do that when you're on the bike exactly yeah if the whole intention is to have this on the go or as a convenient snack mm. then you're not going to have a microwave mm. uh, that you lug around right yeah but if you're at home and you feel like you want to zazz it up zazz it up a bit then yeah but what I noticed about it is um, it fills you up really quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. really, really quickly. Like mm -hmm. in the past, protein bars, they're about, about the length of this, maybe slightly longer, but they're a lot thinner. Mm. 
and it would probably take an entire bar to fill you up. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to be, you know, really to the max on protein bar because I, I'm still working out. That's why I cut it in half. Mm -hmm. But I'm realizing, I don't know if this is the new generation of protein bars, but they do feel like a meal. Like I could it probably, instead of having last time, last time during Langkawi, I think my average is eight bars mm -hmm. on the bike alone. Wow, on, so much! On the bike alone, it's eight bars cut in half. So that's 16 halves. And sometimes it runs into the second leg. Sometimes I finish all of it mm -hmm. during the bike, depending on how tired I am. And I would not feel as as this, as like mm -hmm. as filled up. Okay, as the other, um, I think, uh, test is to see whether that protein bar makes you feel more. Sorry, yeah, Malaysians would say more or jelak. Oh yeah, yeah, very jelak. Okay. Yeah. So again, very um, I think for these, apart from the blue ones, they're, they're not that jelak. They're not that jelak. They're not that jelak. Mm. Yeah. But I can imagine if I'm all hungry and sweaty and out there, I still would not be able to eat as much of these than I would have of the last type of yeah. the bars. Yeah. Okay. Could it be that the bars that you ate those days were more made of whole nuts? Mm, no. Or were they also processed like they this? Were, they were very blend up. Like here mm. you have a lot of textures. Mm. Like there's a nut and whatnot. Mm. But I don't know why. Maybe because they figured, okay, this girl will be running or this girl will be cycling. Let's not choke her on anything. They really just blend everything. So when it's all blended, when you look at it, you're like, oh dear. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you know, so this this looks luxurious. But, what, like but what are my options, right? If I'm on a bike, I'm just going to inhale it anyway, yes. right? Or right. face the yeah. potential of fainting. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay, so rating for that one, the cookies and cream? Mm, six layer cookies and cream. I would say maybe about then as well, about a six. About a six, huh? A six or a seven. A six, huh? Okay. I would give it a seven. Um I to be to be fair, uh I wish my protein, although I I find that their products are very easy to consume, at least for my palate. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish they would come up with more punchy flavours. Mm -hmm. um, they had one lemon meringue for the six layer, oh. which I thought was a nice refreshing yes. change because the sourness kind of cuts through the, you know, the richness, right? Uh, but these are kind of all similar tasting. Mm. So we're going to try the chocolate sundae next, six layers as well. Again, um, I have had this multiple times. So for me, there's not much of a distinction between the taste, but here's a look. It does look like a fairly decent bar with like nuts all over it. Actually, they all look very pretty. I have they to look, give it a, look, a 10 right? out of 10 for mm. aesthetics. Aesthetics, can Yeah, because compared to the protein bars I used to have, and I open it, I'm like, oh no. Yeah. And then under the heat, it melts. Yeah. So when you open it, it goes... Eat me. La you. La <laughs> you. Okay. Please. Ah, okay. Help yourself. Last one. Dum, da, dum, make it dum, da, dum, da, dum. Hmm. I would um I won't say anything yet until she passes a comment. I do like this a lot. Mm. Wow, we mm. have a winner. Yeah. I'll make it an eight or something. Wow. What is lime it? mason and eight hmm. chocolate sundae pretty good not so smeary on hey, the it's tongue. not easy to please her mm. yeah when it comes to food she yeah, like sundae. damn critical okay mm. so my protein has done it for lime mason mm. on the chocolate sundae on well the done. chocolate sundae six layer mm. bar okay so again is this your favorite as well um this Okay, right now, whatever we have here, I would say this is my favourite. Mm. Um, I can see why. Yeah, so it's a lot more chocolatey yes. than the ones that we've had earlier. Correct. Um, but in the grander scheme of things, like I said, if you're going to eat this repetitively, it kind of gets a bit boring. Uh. Lah, you know, um, they have got other flavours, but like I said, 
I wish they had like more punchy flavors. The lemon meringue was the only one I think that stood out, mm. uh, that was a bit kind of non-conforming. Mm. Um, I would actually uh, rate the chocolate sundae an 8 out of 10. Mm. Um, Me too, an 8. Yeah, maybe even higher. Yeah, um, maybe even higher. Yeah. Well done, my protein. Yeah. So, would you do this again with me for a different brand? Sure, why not? Well done! So <laughs> High five! Where's my medal? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, um, I think you're right with, with regards to flavour because when you're out there and you're really all on a guy like that, right? And then you put something sweet in your mouth. It sometimes does not quite go. Hmm. Uh, for things... Like for example, when I'm out there and I'm really thirsty, what I crave for is Coca-Cola. Coca oh. Okay, Coca-Cola, and then you chuck the salt in. Ah. Oh. You know, so that's why things like 100 plus works very well. Because right. it's got that salty taste that, that really matches the mood at the moment. And right. it's very thirst quenching. And when you put something ultra sweet mm. and ultra powdery, mm. Oh, it's just stuck everywhere and mm. you're like, oh man. I wonder if there's a tom yum flavour, oh. yeah. Okay. My protein. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Do savoury protein bars. Actually, um, there isn't... Uh, I've not seen savoury protein bars. Yeah, because your tongue is so... Okay, so I'll tell you how it feels like out there. Okay. First, you've had salt water all over your mouth. Because you swim. So that kind of kills 60% of your taste buds. And then when you're cycling, you're dehydrated. So everything is inflamed, including your tongue. Mm. So it means that your tongue is really quite gentle and soft and sore mm. in that sensitive. sense. Sensitive. Yeah, sensitive. Mm. And it's not really functioning very well either because everything in you is dry. Mm. And then you put in something that doesn't simulate your saliva glands and it makes it even drier. So then you have to drink more water just to down the protein bar. Right. But if you have something that's sour or salty or spicy mm. even, that simulates that thing and then you feel refreshed, although actually you're not technically refreshed because right. you're not drinking water, right? right? And then you add the heat to it. Mm. So you're tired, it's hot, you're dehydrated, and you have to choose something that makes your mouth even drier. Mm. So that itself was the killer for me for protein bars. Right, mm. right. Um, and I think when it comes to working out, mm. uh, I wonder if there is a different kind of preference for those who do like endurance base. Mm. There is. Versus, you know, like the diet I mean, I, I, I'm aware that the diet for endurance base and performance strength base is very different. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wonder if they have like a preference when it comes to, you know, protein bars or supplements, snacks. So like, okay. for example, your triathletes who are more outdoors mm -hmm. versus your power lifters mm -hmm. who are indoors just at the, yep. you know, at the gym in, there is. in the free, free weights area. Okay? Yeah, there is. There yeah, is. because your requirements, your body requirements would mm -hmm. differ yes. um, and it'd be nice to know if uh, any of you out there are also consuming such supplements mm -hmm. and what your favorite brand or what your favorite snack would be mm -hmm. uh, share with us yeah and I uh, from what I remember in the past there's this thing called fast twitch and slow twitch muscles yes. so when you're doing long distance endurance and whatnot uh, we would prefer to have things that do slow burning mm -hmm. Okay, so protein bars give a really good spike on the spot. Correct. It's an instant, but the more it spikes you on that spot, the more you go, huh. Yeah. Your crash. Huh? The crash is really quite, quite profound, mm. I would say. Mm. You know, so uh, over years, we kind of did our own mixture and we find things like uh, plain pasta. Yes, because it burns so slowly mm -hmm. and that's great, mm -hmm. but it depends on the distance. So let's say, for example, if I'm doing Langkawi again, I would go for something that burns slowly 
but I would reserve the spikes for when I really need it. Mm. Okay? Mm. But if I'm doing just an Olympic distance, which is a lot shorter, that's when speed comes into play, mm -hmm. more than your endurance. Mm. So that's when I go for things that give me the power. Mm. You know? So I'll drink things like double dose Ribena on yeah. the run. You know? So that, that sugar rush is sufficient to just push me a little bit. That sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So like last mile need to get ah, there. Yeah. The second okay. win. They call yeah. it the second win. Yeah. Second win. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to like um, the exercises that I am um, more used to, which mm -hmm. is very much indoors, air conditioned, Pepper. you know, no, no, <laughs> no risk of you know running, uh, running away from dogs, mm. you know, no risk mm. of running. Or stepping on dog poo, mm. uh, things like that. No reflex required so no much. No reflex though. required so much. Mm. I guess those um, prerequisites never factor in. Mm. So like, you know, for me, it's like, okay, it's sedap. Yeah. Or uh, it's not so sedap. Mm. Uh, whereas for endurance and triathletes, they need to make very important decisions yes. so that they can actually complete. Correct. Because it makes or breaks your race. Yeah. So for us in the gym, it's like, um, maybe I'll eat this before. And to be honest, I don't even finish the whole bar. Mm. Uh, what I do is I usually cut up into like maybe four or five. Mm. I put it in a Tupperware uh, and then I bring it along and then I'll just pop like one or two. Mm. And that's enough for me. Yeah. Because again, Actually, that's how you should have it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I'll I'll usually mix a couple of flavors. Uh, yeah. So like you know, it's always there. Whenever I want, I'll just like chuck yeah. one or two in. Because you can just imagine. Um, okay, just it's, the way to look at it is you imagine. Let's say for example, this gives you hundred level of energy. Mm. Okay. And even though you ate the whole bar, it is still a hundred. Mm -hmm. If you ate half a bar, it is still a hundred. Mm -hmm. So it's not really how much of that bar you eat but how much of that bar you eat for that time being. Correct. So if you ate the whole thing, it's just going to last that 15 minutes. But if you chop it up and every, let's say, 15 minutes you pop one, then your continuous high pitch is there. Sustained up. Correct, it's sustained. Mm -hmm. So you need to, again, listen to your body. Some people can just whack the whole thing and last for like an hour. Some people require it to be cut up. I, I'm a cut up person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, another uh, advice, uh, some people, this does not sit well in their, or not just this, like any uh, protein whey mm -hmm. uh, or sugar supplements uh, does not sit well in their stomach and actually kind of gives them gas. So Yes, I forgot about the gas. I can uh, bloatedness and gas. Uh, Bloatedness yeah. or flatulence. Yes. Uh, so and again, a lot of water retention. Mm. A lot. Mm. So yeah. that's why I cannot go through like you know a whole bar at one sitting. Mm. Uh, but that doesn't take away the fact that I think they are yummy. Mm. Um, this one especially, well done. Mm. My protein also has got a chocolate spread. So mm. it's like a Nutella, uh, and it's got protein in it. So it's like a protein packed Nutella. It's super yum. They gave me a free one. Thanks, my protein, because I ordered so many times already. <laughs> so, again, and if you ever do tom yum, <laughs> my protein. There's a request from Malaysia to do tom yum flavor. Yeah. Actually, nasi lemak flavor. Nasi lemak or tom oh, yum or soupy whatnot. Chicken, chicken in a biscuit type. Of, oh, chicken in a biscuit. Can you imagine having a nasi lemak protein bar with like anchovies on top? Ah, lovely. And the nuts can can go yeah. on top. Uh, with sambal in between. I will review. Yeah. She's always willing. I am. Yeah. So got another one, is it? Uh, we are, well, if you're up for it, we'll yeah. do a different brand. Sure. Uh, the other brand that I actually quite enjoy is Grenade. Grenade is also a brand from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, for Grenade, I cannot order from their website. Uh, my protein has got direct shipping. They don't do distributorship. They, mm. You can only buy it from their website. But Grenade, um, our friends here in Malaysia uh, who are distributors have already been importing them. Um, I think if you go to Muscle Mania, uh, either on their website or their stores, you will be able to find Grenade brand of 
protein supplements. So okay, we'll uh, try grenade. Yeah, that is see if it's the bomb. Is it grenade? As in yes, okay. the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have to check. <laughs> <laughs> they, they actually have got some funky flavors like chocolate really? mint. Okay, we'll do the chocolate mint uh, one. I, I like mint, but it's okay. some people don't. Uh, I do. And then they've got like raspberry chocolate mm. and orange jaffa. Okay, orange jaffa sounds good. Mm. So we'll try that in the mm. next review. Okay. Um, and let us know what else you would probably like, like to send to test. <laughs> She's ever willing. <laughs> ever willing. Yeah. Let's just try it. <laughs> or if you have any suggestions on, you know, things that you would like us to review, just comment. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've got any experience with any of the My Protein products or uh, any of the products that we've mentioned, uh, also comment. And do share this with your friends. And uh, until next time. Yes. We'll see you again on Monday. Bye. Bye, guys. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>